Welcome! This serves as the part 1 of the Signalize Intersection tutorial for Vism presented by Kampali Pomona. These series of tutorials will cover the intersection of Kellogg Drive and South Campus Drive near Kampali Pomona to demonstrate the steps in creating the simulation of a traffic signal within an intersection. In this video, you will learn how to create a network geometry for an intersection and how to assign a right-of-way to solve conflict areas within the network geometry. Under Network Object, select Links to create your network geometry. When laying out your links for your intersection, there are some important things to consider to improve your simulation. Lay out the through lane links completely through the intersection. Do not end them at the stop bar. In fact, it is best to lay out your through lanes end to end along the entire corridor you plan to simulate if possible. To curve a link or connector, you can add intermediate points to it or by generating a spline along your network by right-clicking it and selecting Generate Spline. Then fix your link to match the curvature of the existing network by moving the points on your link. You can duplicate links and reverse their direction allowing you to quickly make both directions of a roadway. To do this, right-click on a link you want to duplicate and select Generate Opposite Direction. Then repeat all previous steps for all through movements. Create a separate link for each type of turning movement. For example, left turn and right turn lanes will require their own links with connectors usually placed near the upstream transitions. For turning links, end them into the intersection past the stop bars and crosswalks. Vism needs to have room to place the signal heads and they do not work well on connectors. Then lay out all your links for all turning movements. Make sure you have a connector connecting every possible lane change or turning movement condition. To do this, hold Ctrl and right click on the upstream link then drag the cursor to the desired downstream link. Then choose which lane goes to which lane. Then right click on the connector to generate spline. To get smoother curves, use about 5 to 7 points for right turn connectors, about 7 to 10 points for left turn connectors, and about 3 to 5 points for transitions. To check if you have all possible movements, you can use the centerline view from the lane view by using the wireframe button at the top of the network editor window next to the rainbow wrench. Conflict areas are regions where you have overlapping links and connectors. Not every conflict area requires a priority. To show the conflict area, under Network Objects, click Conflict Areas. Conflict areas are color-coded. Yellow means no determination has been set. Green means first priority and red means must yield to existing traffic. Priorities can be assigned to either link or connectors. Give the priority to the direction that would have it in real life. As a rule, right turns typically yield to through movements, thus the through movement should be given the priority. To do this, right click on your link or connector and select the appropriate status. Then do this for all right turn movements. If you have permissive left turns, change the status of the left turn connectors appropriately. As for this intersection, all left turns are protected. There will be several conflict areas that overlap. Make sure the highlighted conflict area is the actual conflict area you need to adjust. To show only the configured conflict area, select links under network objects. Do not forget to save your file to avoid losing any changes you have made. And that is the end of part 1 tutorial. Thank you for watching! Be sure to watch the next video to learn how to program a simple ring barrier traffic controller in Vism.